be the hardest working man in the room. Whoa. Uh, it has these loops. I think there's about four, maybe five on each side. I feel like a big kid at Christmas. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been out. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I, I say all of this, I say all of this. I was actually out last week. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I went out last week with, uh, with a friend, a couple of friends actually, had a great little camp. I haven't done much more than that. I've done, I've done very little camping over the last sort of, uh, Eight, eight weeks, I guess. I had COVID. I had a horrendous cold at Christmas. I mean, really, I was really ill. I could just got over that, and then I got COVID. So, uh, yeah, not got much camping done at all. Um, and I've not been down to this woodland since. But I just got down here, and this used to be the path. That ain't gonna work, is it? Jesus! An old beech tree come down. Jesus! There was a huge storm around here a couple of weeks ago and uh, yeah that's obviously what happened whoa <laughs> I'm stacked on camera there it is I always do that I've realized that e pretty much every video I almost fall over so uh, there you go hopefully that's that is my bit of input for today my falling over is done uh, no I've got some steak and stuff to cook up later I'm looking forward to that uh, it's been a beautiful summer's day today or spring day one of the first nice spring days so I'm gonna head down into a kind of new area I've not really been around here before so I'm gonna head down there and get myself up in my hammock tonight and uh, yeah get myself set I'm looking forward to this and then do a bit of foraging I think as well have a bit of wander around see if I can find anything to add in to my uh, to my food later so uh, come along Good to be back. Wow, I can't believe how many trees have come down. I've not been down to this area in since last year, probably midsummer. I guess I came down here last. And there are so many trees down, it's crazy. They're everywhere. Some big, big trees as well, which is, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to see it. They're old trees, but um, in some ways it does create <laughs> A weird way of looking at it. Just create a lot of new firewood. Um, but yeah, I, can't, I just can't believe. I knew a lot of trees had come down, but not that amount. I'm gonna have to be careful where I go today, just in case there's anything, uh, you know, that's still a bit precarious. Just in case anyone was wondering, it's a little one of the little pegs that I've made. Um, you can, the little notch just stops it sliding off. So the notch is on this side, it stops it sliding off the top. Um, you can, you could do a little, uh, a little, you know, simple kind of hitch or something on there and then put a stick in that if you wanted to. I have no idea what some of these nuts are called, by the way. Personally, all I do is, I just pull it tight, I use this hand to pull it down, to pull the tarp tight, and then like this, it will stay. This, I've got no, put no pressure on this, I can just pull that tight like that. And then all I do is, is I wrap it around, you can wrap it around a bunch of times, and normally, when you let go, it will stay. So you don't even need to tie a knot, but all I will do is literally take the, create a little loop, I'll make it a bit longer, create a little loop, and just flip it over, so it creates this loop here. Put that over the top of the peg. So all I've done, 
like that, flip it around over the top of the peg, pull it tight and that will just lock it off. That will not come undone. And that's all you need. I went at the weekend and, you know, friends were like, oh, you know, how big a pegs do I need? You know, you've got a tarp. It's not, you know, it's more about the length of the peg, really. Um, something like that. What's that? Like, I don't know, eight inches, nine inches, something like that. That's all you need. That is all you need to hold a tarp um, solid. I've made four, but to be honest, I don't really want four. Oh, well, you get the idea. Pegs. Right, I thought just quickly, I kind of mentioned parts of my uh, sleep system in a bunch of other videos, but I thought what I'll do is, is I'll do a little focus on next couple of camps. What I'll do is, is do a little focus on each one, you know, just in case people want to know a little bit more than what I would just skim over it really. So this is one of the David Fry's packing system. This is a large packing system, if you like. Um, and what I'll say is there is quite, there's a little bit of room in there. It's, you know, it's a squeeze, but it's not, you know, it's not difficult to get it in there by any means. So this is the um, Cumulus Selva 450 uh, under blanket. Uh, so this is the, I think it's rated down to about minus 10, something like that. I said 450 and now I'm like, is it the 450? Probably not. So it comes in this lovely green. What I will say is it's a Pertex uh, material that it comes in. So it's, um, it's got a, I think it's got a DWR coating. Uh, it will repel, repel a little bit of water um, off it. Uh, it comes with a suspension system, um, which to be honest, um, is pretty simple. Um, since I've got it, two of my friends have bought it. They've both got different hammocks and they can they can hang it on theirs, no problems at all. Um, I've got the War Bonnet Blackbird, um, which is uh, an asymmetric, which makes it a little bit, bit more difficult to put under blankets on, so I hear, um, but I, I've never had any problems hanging it um, on, on this at all. Uh, it's quite a simple kind of system to hang it. Um, I'll show you in a little bit more depth. Uh, is this the... Selva 450, there you go, Selva 450. Uh, so yeah, it comes with a pretty simple kind of hanging system. Down each side, uh, it has these loops. I think there's about four, maybe five on each side. Uh, yeah, Pertex Quantum, there you go, you can see on there. Um, comes with about four or five of these little loops on it. And in between, it's got this bungee. Uh, this is probably, I don't know, three or four mil bungee, I'd guess. Um, and then at the end, it has these. Um, I'm going to get out so it focuses. There you go. It has these little adjusters. And then the bungee then continues out the other end. Right, it's quite a long piece of bungee you get. All I have done is I have put a loop at the end of that bungee. Uh, and then I then put uh, a little mini carabiner, um, which I then clip up to my um, hammock suspension system uh, at either end. This adjuster, which there's four of these, there's one on each corner, uh, then gives you some adjustment. Oh, my head, don't focus on me. Uh, you can then adjust it, you see, either way once it's up. Um, at the end, it has a, what does that say? Ah, oh, there you go. Anyone wants to know about the down, it's 850 down fill power. Uh, yeah, and then at the end, this is one end. It is it is um, it is head and foot end. It's slightly narrow at the foot end. It does have a baffle built into it. So when you cinch it up to your hammock, it just stops any breezes coming in there. Uh, so yeah, that's it. It's um, uh, what I will say is it's been brilliant. I've I I use it all year round. Um, I use it even in the summer, and all I'll do is just loosen it off, slack it down, um, give a little so it lets a little bit more ventilation underneath me. Um, it packs down small enough that I'm not worried about it. I have thought about buying a, a smaller one, 
um, you can get some smaller versions but to be honest I've just never felt the need it does everything um, it's got me down into well into the minus uh, numbers in the UK so probably the worst is you know maybe minus five or something like that which you know in the UK I'm told is 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 pretty cold because we have quite damp conditions here as well so you get a good frost with that um, yeah what else can I say really uh, I've I've added in a couple of cases a little bit of um, paracord as a little drip line uh, and I also at, at one end I forget where it is I should say that baffle you can cinch up let me get out of it again so you can let me just uh, uh, loosen that off so I'll loosen that all the way off it's loose and then it has this adjuster in there so you can grab hold of that and pull that and it will just cinch up that so it'll pull it nice and tight that's the baffle that you can see at the other end so there's two of those it's like as we say it's slightly narrow at one end it is um baffles in uh, a, a parallel to you so they're a long ways not not perpendicular to you um yeah i'll um i'll get it on the hammock now um and then i'll go through it a little bit more once it's on yeah so uh, there you go that's it on on the hammock um i have added this piece this is another piece of this is probably two or three mil with two tiny little little carabiners on it um, because when i first got it i had a couple of instances where it slipped underneath me um to be honest it's hanging on here but i haven't used it in a long time and i think it was just because i wasn't pulling it tight enough or getting it far enough up you need it to be elevated quite high um, and I think that's the same with all under blankets. If you don't have them up high enough up the suspension system, um, they're too low and they can easily get underneath you. Um, but if you've got them higher up, the sides are higher. As you can see, I can't let me just unclip this one. So the, the nets, but as you can see, it's quite high up on there. Um, and it just means that you're well down inside and then with your quilt over the top of you when you're inside it's lovely it's really really nice it kind of tucks you're well down inside your quilt is only covering your top half your under blanket is not it's not your underside it's all your sides it's your shoulders it's your legs it's everything um it's full length i'm not sure on the exact length yeah it's full length as you can see it covers 90% of the hammock I would guess um, it's just the last at the foot end it's probably maybe uh, maybe maybe not even six inches of usable space and at this end it's pretty much all the way to the the top as you can see um, it's nice and wide I have no problems with it like not being wide enough for me I'm, I mean I'm pretty small I'm five five eight five nine something like that um, probably more like five six um, but <laughs> um, but yeah, I've never had any problems. I'm, yeah, I'm quite a small chap, but a friend of mine's got one. He's close to six foot. Uh, and he's never had any issues either. And I've, I've only ever heard good things. So um, yeah, generally, is there anything I'd improve about it? Um, I don't know, I can't think of anything right now. Anyway, um, I'll have a little think about it. I just thought it'd be quite nice to kind of, you know, do a, a little bit of a deep dive, if you like, on it. Um, so if anybody's got any questions, give me a shout and let me know. Um, i happily answer any questions about it specifically, but I need to crack on because the sun has gone now and uh, I've not got any wood. I've not done anything, so I need to crack on with it. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, 
that's good nice well you can't see anything can you I'm just gonna have to take my word for it I'm not dumb to a chip oh so good right I'm eating this later Is it? I'm in the hammock. Oh. oh, it's been a lovely evening. I've not done a huge amount of recording. First one back. Yeah, just wanted to get myself settled again. But uh, hope you've enjoyed what I have got. I'm uh, going to get up at nice and early in the morning, and uh, I'll get some more footage then. So uh, nice coffee and stuff. I'm looking forward to spending the night in the hammock again. So, uh, thanks for following along. See you soon. See you in the morning. Morning everybody. No. <laughs> it sounded like some kind of auto tune. Morning everybody. Anyway, morning all. Oh, it's gonna be a beauty of a morning. I um I didn't sleep very well last night at all. i very broken sleep anyway. But um what a lovely morning. The mist is rising out there and um yeah, it's stunning. The sun hasn't quite come up over the ridge yet. Uh, it will do probably in the next few minutes. So uh, it's coffee o'clock for me, definitely. I'm gonna get a brewski on and um, get out of here pretty sharpish. Um, I've got a pretty exciting day actually. I get to go and pick up a new car, um, which uh, 
which is, yeah, going to be fun. I've been a company car guy for many years, but, yeah, I get to buy a new car today, which will be nice. So, uh, yeah, that's all good. Not very bushcraft, though, is it, to be honest? But there we go. Some of you might want, might be interested. Probably not that many of you. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a coffee on. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty parched get packed get myself packed up get myself out of there and uh, yeah that'll be me for the day so uh, um, I am um, yeah next week I've got another camping already um, I've got a bit of time to do it as well so uh, uh, and I'm also going to finally um, get out a few other videos that I've been kind of sat sat in the background that I haven't completed so uh, I'm really sorry to everybody I've been really lax over the last uh, couple of months like I said um, yesterday I had Covid um, I had a really horrible cold over Christmas and uh, that kind of that properly wiped me out I was sure it must have been Covid um, and I'd only just got over that and then I went and actually got Covid so uh, it's been a rough couple of months but um, I'm back now and the spring is coming as well. Look how beautiful it is out here. It's lovely. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's been a long, long, long winter. It's felt very grey here in the UK this winter. So uh, it's going to be nice to uh, have a little bit of warmth, have a little bit of sun. So on that, the sun is going to come over the ridge in just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to get on and get my coffee on and then I'm going to go and sit over there and ponder for a little while, so catch you in a bit. That was pretty crazy. I just took my, uh, I'm just gonna get out of the sun a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Just took my drone out into the field to try and get some shots. There's a beautiful mist out there out in the valley. And um, I was kind of turning the drone around and I saw something at, and then missed it. And then it's kind of like double take almost. Oh God, what was that? And turned, and as I turned back, there's a bird of prey coming at me. <laughs> I had to quickly like, descend to try and get away from it so uh, yeah that was pretty crazy it landed over in the uh, the trees just over here behind me so uh, on my way out I'm gonna see if I can spot it um yeah a bit of excitement this morning but anyway right that's me done everything's packed away everything's done I'm gonna enjoy my coffee sit and chill for a little bit um, yeah, look forward to uh, getting another one out. They'll start coming back out again in in quick succession, I'm sure. I've got some in in the in the locker which I've got to get finished off, and um, lots of camps planned over the next few weeks and months. So uh, I've got Sweden coming up not too long. For those of you who don't know, uh, I'm going to Sweden uh, in um, in May to um, yeah do some canoeing, bushcraft. Uh, uh, a trip for a week, which is going to be amazing. I can't wait. Um, yeah, so lots to look forward to. Um, me and some friends are going to be getting out and doing some um, little recce camps over the next month or two uh, in preparedness for that. Um, I'm hoping to get onto a bushcraft course somewhere um, during the year as well, which I'll, I'll try and cover as long as, you know, whoever the organiser is is okay with that. Um, yeah, maybe a canoe course, I fancy. I've done a bit of canoeing, so maybe that as well. But uh, lots of thoughts, lots of plans, lots of things to look forward to. Um, thanks for following along, everybody. Uh, look after yourselves. Um, be good to yourselves. Work hard. I'm going to sound like the rock now, aren't I? Be the hardest working man in the room. <laughs> nah. 
Take care. Look after yourselves. Loads of love.